Hello, and in this video, I wanted to share with you the top five things that keep me focused, productive, on track, and help me with my design thinking. All the items that I'll be mentioning today will be included in the description below. First off, I wanted to start off with this bottle of water. Bottle of water, what's the big deal? Let me show you. <laughs> see all these see all these little lines and stuff on this bottle of water? I'll explain what those are in a second, but basically this water is fantastic. <laughs> the bottle of water, I mean. So this thing is actually called the Kaktaki 32 ounce bottle of water with a time marker. And before we get into that, I wanted to mention no matter how talented you are, if you're hungry and lacking nutrition, your work will suffer because it will affect your way of thinking. And more importantly, drink lots of water to stay very, very hydrated. Personally, I get very busy focusing on my work. And even though I have the water right next to me, right on my desk, I could be so focused and so into my work that I literally forget to drink it for multiple hours. And that's a problem. A great solution for this is this particular bottle that I purchased on Amazon. It's a one liter bottle and it has marks on it reminding me to drink a certain amount of water every so often. So pretty much the way it's set up is from around 8 a.m. in the morning to around 12 p.m. in the afternoon, I'm drinking a certain amount of water uh, within every half hour to an hour and there's a little mark there so it shows me to where I would have to drink to. And then an hour after that, I drink again and again and again until I finish the whole bottle. And then at 12 o'clock or around 12.30, I'll refill that bottle. And then approximately from two till six, the process repeats again and I drink, and I would drink a certain amount from two to, two to six. Every so often, I would drink a certain amount and it keeps me very hydrated. For me, this bottle is incredible. Also, besides staying hydrated, the other hidden thing to this is because I'm drinking so much and so often and it's reminding me to do so, it's forcing me to go to the bathroom more often, which is also really good because normally I would be sitting and working for quite a bit of time, and this forces me to get up and move my body and not be so stuck to my chair. The second item that I wanted to talk about that really helps me with my productivity and helps me with focus while I'm doing my work is the AirPod Pros. Let me grab them for you. So these are the AirPod Pros. This is what they look like. Probably I've seen a lot of people wearing these but let's let me talk about them and tell you why I like them. When I'm working on a design project, I like to be hyper-focused and keep distraction from me as far as possible. Particularly noise is something that can definitely get in the way of my focus. That's where these little things come in and save the day from all the loudness. The AirPod Pros have literally been a lifesaver for me, especially with the noise cancellation feature on. With this feature on, it pretty much puts the rest of the world on mute and lets me work distraction-free. Hallelujah. They actually come with three different sizes, so that way it's kind of customized for different people's ears. And there's a little thing in their software, a little process that you go through depending on the size of your ear, you adjust it, and then it just fits perfectly in your ear with all the noise sealed. The battery life on them is incredible. I usually, throughout the day, forget that they're even in my ears. The third item that I wanted to show you is actually called the Productivity Planner. Let me just grab that for you. So that's the little Productivity Planner. In most cases, I really like to plan out my days. And even before that, I really like to plan out my week. I realize that emails, my grandma calling me, and other random events are just going to happen, but I still like to have a very nice structure and have things pre-planned in advance. That's why I use this incredible book called The Productivity Planner to help me be as productive as possible. In the beginning of the week, you write down what your goals and tasks are, and if they happen to be too big, you break them down into multiple goals and tasks. Then on the daily page, you break down what those tasks are for that day, and you pretty much grade it based on time. Each section will have a place for up to five bubbles and each bubble is worth 25 minutes of physical time with a five minute break between each bubble. I know I'm talking about all these random bubbles and circles and what am I, what is this? What are you talking about, Gary? <laughs> so basically I'll give you an example just so it can be, make a little more sense. But pretty much let's say I need to make an icon for, um, let's say I have a project and I need to make an icon. And let's say that icon design, I'm predicting that the icon design will take me an hour and a half, right? Let's say it will take me an hour and a half. So then in the, in the book, I mark, I mark it as three circles because each circle is worth 25 minutes to, to a half an hour. And, um, and then I have other tasks as well, but specifically for these icons, I mark it as three circles and then I work on the icon and then I'm done 25 minutes laser focused, not being distracted. And now I take a five minute break after I work for 25 minutes and then I relax, I drink my water and then I come back and I work for another 25 minutes. And it ended up turning out that I finished the icon in let's say an hour. So I predicted that it was gonna take me an hour and a half, but it took me 
an hour. So that's those, so two of the circles would be, would be filled in. And it kept me laser focused because I was, a, I knew exactly what I need to do and I was concentrated on that task. Depending on the time that you think your task will take, you will write, you would mark in one through five circles, as I mentioned. And if you're going to predict that your task is gonna take you longer than five circles or five bubbles, then you should really break that task into multiple tasks. The system works really well for me, it helps me stay laser focused in my design projects. It also reminds me to take quick five minute breaks, which works really well with that water bottle that I mentioned earlier. If you do decide to get this journal, there is more information inside of it. Uh, explaining basically how everything works and gets in, gets more into the nitty gritty of more than what I just explained here regarding bubbles, productivity, tasks, and breaks. The fourth item that I wanted to let you know about that helps me with productivity and keeps me really focused and comfortable and relaxed while I'm doing my design work is actually this chair that I'm sitting on. <laughs> you can see it right here, kind of a little bit. And it happens to be the Herman Miller chair with a little neck rest on top of it. Like most other designers, the place that I spend most of my life is the mattress that I sleep on and the chair that I sit on while working throughout the entire day. This particular chair is my favorite chair ever. It's extremely comfortable, very adjustable, and although this chair could be pretty pricey, I was able to find a really, really good deal for it on good old fashioned Craigslist. I also got this neck support thing, which is this. See, it allows me to put my head back comfortably and not hurt my neck. Because my elbows are normally on my chair's armrest, I also got these super comfortable memory foam arm pads. Regardless of the chair that you get, make sure that it's super comfortable for you and works really well for your neck and your back. Most likely you're gonna be spending so much time on that thing. The fifth and final thing that I wanted to show you that I use and helps me with my productivity is actually the specific mouse that I use. Let me grab that for you. For so many years, I've always been using Apple's Magic Mouse, but a few years back, I was getting a weird pain in my arm and my wrist, and after doing some research, it turned out that the Magic Mouse was causing me harm from an ergonomics perspective. That's when I decided to do even more research and decided to go with the Logitech MX Master Mouse. I've had this mouse for so many years now, and it's treated me and my wrist so well. Besides being such a great mouse, it's very customizable and allows me to change different settings on different buttons because it actually has quite a bit of buttons, and allows me to be even more productive of my design work. For example, I have a setting on this mouse where when I'm working on a design tool like Figma and I select two different elements, I can just press a certain button on there and it will auto align or it will actually align those elements instantaneously. It's really, really cool. The battery on this mouse is really strong and I could also connect it to three different computers. I normally have this mouse connected to my computer via Bluetooth and it also comes with a charging cable that I barely ever use because the battery is so strong. Well, that's kind of been my five main tools that I use to help me with all this stuff. I hope this inspires you to think about some of the tools you're using and kind of gave you a little bit of an opening to see how kind of how I do stuff. Again, I'll include everything that I've talked about in the description below. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so as I'll be posting more interesting videos about design like this in the future. Thanks for taking the time out of your day and hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.